Hello, this is Stan for GPT for Work, back for a new demo about how to do bulk web search directly inside Google Sheets. Uh, or you could do the same inside Microsoft Excel with GPT for Excel. So here I have GPT for Sheets open. I have a list of countries in column A. And the first question I have is what is the average hotel price for a night in each country? For this, I will use the custom prompt tool. I will set it up so that the rows start at row four, the columns start at row four. I'm going to copy paste this simple prompt here that says, what is the average cost for a moderately priced hotel per night in country? This will be replaced on each row by the value of each cell in column A. And I ensure that I am using a web connected model, uh, which are highlighted by the little globe icon here. So there's sonar that is made by perplexity. Yes. And then I can, okay, let's do 20 directly. And yeah, we need to set up the results column, which in this case is column B. There we go. And you will see that very quickly, we will get the results in column B. Yes. Uh, and you can see the, the power of, the, of using AI directly inside Google Sheets. It's, uh, you can set conditional formatting, for example, or other native, use other native features of Google Sheets to make your results uh, from the AI more readable, more uh, understandable. Okay, um, great. So now I want to ask what are the top three languages of uh, each country? Uh, for this, I'm going to use another feature uh, that is the GPT function. So I've prepared one here. Uh, you've got so equal GPT and then your prompts. What are the top three languages? Uh, and I refer to the country via the cell reference like any other Google Sheets function. So there we go. And once this is done, I can easily drag the formula. That's a nice thing about formulas. You can drag them and there you go. So this seems to work pretty well. Great. Uh, okay, next question. Uh, it can, I want to fetch a URL uh, of the uh, number one newspaper of each country. So again, same thing, I can just copy paste this into here. I must not forget to change the results column. And I can do this. Okay, so it seems it mostly worked. Uh, this one is definitely correct. This one seems correct as well. Um, just one thing is sometimes the response will not follow the instructions of just giving the response. So you can easily clean this by hand or you could run another uh, prompt uh, with a uh, non-connected uh, model in order to get your results uh, in a clean way, okay? but at least you know this is a real demo and I'm not faking it. So it can be interesting uh, what they say. Okay, um, so if the response is not clear cut. Okay, now write your availability. Uh, this can be interesting when you're uh, traveling. So again, I'm just gonna copy paste this in. Okay. Change the column of results. There you go. And again, I use some conditional formatting here to make the no appear uh, quite uh, visibly. You can also ask uh, some, let's say, more um, difficult questions like, okay, what are the VAT rates in all these, all these countries? Uh, and for this, I'm going to use Sonar Pro uh, just to ensure that I get the best results I can. So Sonar Pro, uh, I'm going to copy paste the prompt and I'm also going to show you uh, another feature, which is that you can show the sources. This way you can ascertain that uh, the, the answer um, comes from trustable sources. And in fact, you could also, if you wanted, um, you could also um, restrain 
these sources to uh, domains that you uh, trust yourself. Okay, so there we go. All right. Um, and well, another kind of question that you can ask is what are the, the most uh, um, widely accepted digital payment methods in uh, those countries? Just to give you one last example. Okay, let's put this here. And again, I will have the sources available. There you go. Very handy. So this just, I just, in five minutes, I just saved, honestly, uh, at least, at the very least, an hour, but probably more than that, uh, hours of research, of manual research, manual Googling, searching, uh, verifying. And this is uh, such a time save. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Don't hesitate to ask questions or reach out to us. We'll be happy to help you. Bye-bye.